Hey, welcome back to Miss Joan Uncut. With me, your host, Miss Joan, back with another video, child. Today has been a long day. I want to first start off with thanking all my subscribers, old and new. I appreciate you. Honestly, I say this and I mean it. I really do think I have some dope ass subscribers because the comments y'all be leaving and the conversations we have be everything. So we're going to jump right into it. You know how we do over here. We spectate. We do not participate in any drama of any kind. Mm -mm, we don't do that. And we're going to jump right into it. Child, let me tell you something. The way today has been on this Monday and the drama y'all been giving, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. And this is how I feel. Okay, I hate it here. Okay. <laughs> the way y'all acted a fool today on this internet, on this, as y'all say, Beyonce's, okay, Al Gore's, okay, Taylor Swift's, whoever you like, internet, y'all are insane. But we're going to talk about it. Baby, let me tell you something. So we're just going to go ahead and start with I was over at Kimmy's today, right? And I noticed TJ has been doing a tour ever since the Melody Jones interview. And baby, I was not expecting what happened. So we are gonna jump into it. Baby, for the first time in Jaguar right sector, adjacent black T sector history, Naisha and TJ was on the same panel together today, child. And it went down on the panel. Okay, so we're gonna start off with pretty much, um, Naisha and, and TJ pretty much, she got up there because it started off with TJ on a panel. She had started off talking about the interview she had with melanie jones right go over to melody jones check her out and you can check out that interview and the live she did where she got into tj's ass now we're calling tj tj today and not ty because her mask came off and she showed her ass okay so we pretty much start off where like tj and naisha was on a panel together and naisha starts off with pretty much saying like how tj weaponizes everyone honey Naisha wasn't on that panel more than maybe five minutes less than and TJ jump dropped down and said, come over to my channel. So Naisha goes in to say pretty much how TJ weaponized everyone in her family, how she's always using her family members to weaponize them to, I guess, people to feel sorry for her. So then Naisha goes to say that she supported the TJ going to help get Jag out of you know when jag was in jail to help jag get herself situated into a room and naisha said she was supposed to go right but then all of a sudden child tj told her she ain't want her to go now girl based off the information you told us today you knew this girl was a habitual cheater and you still let her go but i digress we'll get into that mm -hmm. so pretty much she said she dealt with tj infidelity for a long time and that she had literally witnessed caught her jag and tj sharing music together and how naisha explained it is that that was something her and uh tj did right they shared music because music is like a, a big thing in her life so she knew something wasn't right from there so baby they got to talking about a damn yoda backpack okay a damn you know baby yoda star wars only you could prevent forest fires for fires only you could prevent <laughs> another one that talks backwards i love me some yoda okay and she goes to say how she packed up the backpack she said she woke up on that morning honey tj was sitting on that bed with that backpack ready to go damn it i meant to grab a video from tiktok but i'm just gonna have to do it another time because it went perfect with this but pretty much she uh had the backpack and she was telling her pretty much you know well aren't you gonna make me something to eat and naisha like girl you don't ever have breakfast like why now all of a sudden you want me to make you breakfast baby all over this yoda backpack child they talked about that backpack for a minute child that, that was weird and strange so then it goes on to pretty much how i feel i think this was tj's escape plan mm -hmm. i think she used jag to get away from her i that's just my opinion because why would you both agree to go together and then instantly you like ah oh, now nah, i'm gonna go by myself girl that's a typical cheetah's line but anyway so baby they get the yelling 
And while they're yelling, you don't really hear nothing. All I got out of the yelling was Naisha was a non cooking ass bitch. And the kids, and Naisha, like, well, the kids love me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> right? Just just stick along, because, honey, it, it, baby, it gets you sick. So then we go ahead to where, uh, while they're still on the panel, TJ pops back on there. TJ starts to call Naisha desperate. She starts yelling at her to tell her to shut the F up. Baby, when I say, and I and I say this wholeheartedly, that TJ was very aggressive and verbally abusive today, I can only imagine what their relationship was like inside that house. That's that's some shit. So then TJ gets to yelling at Naisha that she's an opportunist and that she married a man for a green card, which we knew already, and that she pretty much gave Naisha her come up, I guess, on his YouTube streets. And I'm like, girl, uh, you really can't give somebody a come up when you haven't really came up. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed in you, TJ, because you acted a plum fool today. Okay. So, baby, TJ gets to screaming that she dogs walk Naisha and that Naisha still wants her. And that's when I knew, TJ, you really ain't shit, girl. Every all day, people been saying, like, you're like another version of Jag. You're like a mini Jag. And after seeing you today, your mask come off. You definitely have some Jag tendency, boo. There ain't no way around that. And then TJ gets to yelling that it's over. Stay along with me, honey, because it gets more juicy. Because this is just the beginning. So then Kimmy then goes to ask, um, you know, you don't think there's a better way to TJ. She goes, you don't think there's a better way to talk to the woman that's taking care of your child. I'm not mistaken. I swear TJ yelled in that live. Pretty much those those Naisha kids ain't my kids. Pretty much I heard fuck them kids. Now, she didn't say that verbatim. But what I took from it was fuck them kids. Because, honey, <laughs> TJ didn't give two shits today. So then TJ goes to say she claims that she has been trying to talk, okay, to Naisha for months. And then TJ also goes to say that Naisha let a child, um, oh, girl, she went in and just started going about how she felt like Naisha let a child, her child, her son, into the home who was a child predator, allegedly. I look, I don't need no defamation, okay? Allegedly. And that pretty much Naisha didn't respect TJ because she did not tell her. And TJ then let us know, honey, she didn't find out that Naisha's son was an alleged predator until five years into the relationship and they were together for 11. And, you know, it's a, it said her, her baby girl eventually came to her while she was sick to tell her about this. And I was like what the fuck let me tell you something tj can't blame naisha naisha can't blame tj they're both fucked up people i'ma just say it nobody else want to say it i'm not judging but based off the conversation y'all both toxic y'all are very toxic y'all are extremely toxic this has to be one of those toxic couples lesbian couples we'll get into that so then tj says that she didn't find out to five years tj then goes to say that there was abuse to the children i'm gonna say allegedly with naisha right and naisha admitted but we're gonna get into that but she did admit it. like it's on kimmy's live she child she she pretty much said yeah she abused the kids I've never seen so, damn, it's going to sound harsh, but I've never seen so many shitty ass mothers until I got on YouTube, child. This shit is crazy. So then Kimmy asks, and she starts, um, she states that she doesn't think that TJ is taking accountability after breaking someone's heart because of how hard TJ was going. But TJ's like, you know, I've apologized multiple times on public and in private. Like, I don't know how many times I'm supposed to keep apologizing. That's one thing about me, though. Like, if once I apologize and you decide to take it or not, that's on you. But I'm not going to keep. Okay, I'm not going to keep telling your ass sorry. All right. So then TJ stressed that Naisha is the one who packed the bag. Baby, I keep telling you they talked about that Yoda bag for like maybe like 20, 30 minutes. I was like, what the fuck is about this Yoda bag? Okay. And she said she's the one who packed the bag. And I'm like, girl... Naisha girl you was really naive or you just was too trusting because based off your story and we're going to get into that this girl has cheated on you multiple times okay 
and yet you really trusted her to take a backpack backpack with her to jack a woman that you knew Child, you know what mm -mm, i'm not gonna do this with her today so then TJ goes to say that it was really never her intentions when she went to go see Jack to sleep with her, right? I don't believe that shit. Now, maybe that wasn't like the plan plan, but if they were sharing music and they was over there whispering and whispering sweet nothings in each other's ears over the phone, I don't believe that. So then TJ says that she pretty much recommitted herself to the relationship and that she didn't cheat for five years when I guess they were together. They were together for 11 years total. She was only faithful <laughs> for five of those years. So you telling me TJ there was six years of cheating and you don't understand why Naisha is on this line going off on you on this YouTube? Girl, six years of cheating. Naisha made it very clear for the whole 11, she never cheated. And turn no hoe into no housewife i'm just saying child so then it goes on to where they pretty much get the fussing about how baby girl is a senior and she's not in school um and that how naisha went to explain that how like her daughter when she turned 18 baby girl turned 18 she wanted to be a met um what she say a med tech just like naisha but the way tj is talking is like she i don't know she dropped out let me tell you something it ain't never good when a child dropped out of school okay never good so then Naisha goes to admit that, you know, she wasn't perfect, but that TJ did, um, did take care of them. You know, she did love on them. She was very nurturing, right? And et cetera. And she kind of feel like it, through all the mess that they've been through, through the 11 years, what they had was theirs, right? It was theirs to have. It was, you know, it wasn't perfect, but it was their relationship. And then Naisha goes to say, chow, how TJ slept with a woman when they were in the shelter. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to repeat that one one more time. Naisha said how she slept with a woman when they was in the shelter and that TJ had slept with multiple, you know, she, TJ cheated on her multiple times or many times. And the only reason why she was in that shelter is because she did it for TJ. Honey, if you had somewhere else to go with them kids and you decided to stay your ass in that shelter over TJ, you are not that bright. Now, again, I am not passing judgment. I do commentary. I'm very observant and I'm going to call it how I see it. If you don't like it, kiss my ass. Mm -hmm. Next. So then we're going to go on to the information. Now, I don't know if you remember when everything was going on when TJ first got with Jack, there was some information that came out that supposedly that Naisha and TJ did have a plan, right, where they were going to record Jack. And Naisha goes to explain the reason why they had that plan that I guess TJ took with her so she didn't have it. But it was like her backup plan because they didn't know how Jack was going to be. So clearly they knew Jack was like how she was on the Internet. Like they watched her. They knew that she was like not right in the head unstable and so they wanted to record her just in case i remember that coming out i was like y'all some messy bitches oh god so then we go on to a kimmy uh kimmy had a mod who hit the panel and asked naisha like what made her stay if tj kept breaking her heart naisha goes to explain that tj was the first woman that she was ever with and she made her feel very vulnerable. And at the time, Naisha was going through like survival mode and she was on a go all the time. And I, uh, TJ pretty much made her feel vulnerable and I guess make her uh, just tap into some type of emotions that she's never really tapped in before. And that's what made her really much stay. So then TJ, um, she Naisha goes to explain that TJ did help her Naisha goes to explain that TJ did help her address her own family about some trauma that she endured with them. And she's never been able to face her family before. And the reason, you know, why she was able to is because of TJ. So then she let us know that TJ, you know, told all of her ex's business too. So she goes to pretty much explain that when she was with TJ, 
uh, TJ, I guess, complained about two of her exes, Mary and I don't know if it's Michelle, but I know Mary and another person. And so she wasn't shocked when she saw that she shared her information with Jag. Girl, let me tell you something. Y'all got to be the most loose lip heifers on this internet because I don't understand it. So the Naisha goes to pretty much stress that she was faithful to TJ for 11 years and that she states that loyalty has conditions when it comes to TJ because soon as TJ finds a peen or a cooch, okay, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a lady and not use very vulgar words unless I have to, mm -hmm, that she'll just cheat. So compulsive cheater i think tj might have i don't know if it's a sex addiction i don't know but clearly this girl just love baby it's look it's about to get crazy okay let me get into it so then now this is my personal opinion i really think jag was tj's karma because once you hear more about this you like oh yeah that's that's why jag did you the way that jag just dropped your ass the way she did girl because you did do naisha really dirty in that relationship i mean she might have whooped your ass here and there i'm just saying but you did that girl dirty so they go to ask what was uh kimmy goes to ask well like what's the longest time frame that tj has worked while he was with her in the whole 11 years in the relationship baby naisha said eight months and then go bacon isn't hustling for her the longest job tj had was eight months and then she goes TJ cheated on Naisha while they was in the shelter, child. I hate it here. I hate it here. I want to go home. Baby, when I say you ain't shit when you live in a shelter and you're cheating while you're in the shelter... need I say more baby that says a lot about your character I get people make mistakes and shit happen now I'm anti I'm, I'm big on anti cheating child I can't stand me a cheating motherfucker okay but you want a shelter your your main priority is to get your family back on their feet but you out there being a hoe a hoe for show hmm, okay but then boo boo kitty when Naisha really get to talking, she goes to tell us that there was pregnancy and clinic visits while they was in a relationship and it was during the majority of their relationship. Then Kimmy's panel, her co-host, mm -hmm, asked, where was she at? You know with tj and aisha goes to say you know she's a human in this world that tj's a human in this world and that she loves all humans and that she's pretty much done with tj girl i don't think naisha is completely over tj but that's just my personal opinion you don't have to agree okay so then naisha says that her and tj has been in and out of a clinic most majority and and the hospital of their whole entire relationship now TJ had the audacity to bring her ass on this internet and say Jag gave her some bacteria, child. But she's been in and out of clinic. Listen, 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 listen. TJ can't talk about Jag. As much as I can't stand Jag, she can't talk about Jag. Who oh, she goes to say. There was a recent situation, I guess, when they were together, the last situation they kind of dealt with, where there was someone named Derek, and she claimed that TJ did something to her, right? But she comes to say that he would show up to the house, he gave her a nickname, and she, and, and now she goes, anytime, you know, somebody get my woman, she said, B word, girl, she said, bitch, my bitch. But she said her woman, a nickname, she knows something ain't right. And that... Pretty much, he would drive to the house and just yell, I love you to TJ and drive off, child. And I'm like, how how old are we again? Okay. So then Kimmy then goes, child, look, it's 20 minutes and I got way more notes. So please stick in here with me. I, I'm trying to move as fast as I can. So then Kimmy then goes to ask, um, was it okay to, you know, in a relationship, was it okay to sleep with other men? And Naisha go, absolutely not. Not. Naisha then goes to say, she went to that man's door every single day. To the point even cops was called. Because Naisha was knocking on that door, child. Because she said, TJ would be sitting in there smoking, drinking, playing chess. And it would just be parlaying. And she wouldn't let Naisha in. 
baby, when I keep going, you're going to be like, what the F? So then she goes to admit that she didn't make it easy for TJ to leave, you know. So she wondered, like, why TJ just wouldn't leave, you know, if she was going to keep doing what she was doing. Honey, let me just come out and say it. TJ likes peen and puss. Y'all, y'all are the most bootleg lesbians I have ever seen in my life. Y'all are not true lesbians. Y'all are experimenters. You're bisexual. You're bi curious. You're bi something, but you're not strictly punani. Mm -mm. Impossible. I know lesbians, and they've never will touch peen ever. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. You have late bloomers, people who get married has you know have lives, and then later on they realize you know they really do love women. That's an exception. But y'all two keep going back and forth with dick. And I'm going to explain why. Mm -hmm. Baby, I need to hold on. I'm trying to move as fast as I can now. Don't rush me. So then TJ, we for, oh, baby, look, 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 look come in. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me get, let me get my, my Rick James. Hold on. Y'all got to bring this in, babe. Bring this in. Bring this in. Mm -hmm. Naisha let us know that TJ was pregnant by, the, by that man, Derek, right? And TJ asked Naisha, would it be okay if they kept the baby? But Naisha was like, she preferred they didn't. But, you know, she was going to ride it out anyway. So then Kimmy go to ask, you know, this, now this supposedly had happened in 2020, between 2015 and 2017. She couldn't get that date right. So Kimmy go, well, what happened to the baby? Naisha goes, she don't know what happened to that baby. And that she believes she may have lost the baby. So Kimmy like, hold on. So we don't know what, what happened to the baby. She said she was spaced out. She ain't know. I'm still here. I I just. <laughs> the ghetto child. The ghetto. So then the panel co-host goes to read the chat and was like TJ's over there because TJ has dropped by now. So T she goes to say that somebody in the chat says TJ was over on her live crying. Naisha states that she's probably because she's not used to Naisha having a voice, right? TJ is the one who always made the decisions in the relationships and that they pretty much walk on eggshells with um, TJ. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, please. Thank you. And she said, you know, she had mood swings. TJ had a lot of mood swings. And that, you know, they will wake up hoping that she was in a better mood some days. And honey, I know what it's like being around someone who you got to walk on eggshells with. It's very uncomfortable. So then Kimmy asked, like, you know, what kind of drugs? Because you did mention drugs. Now, this is what Kimmy's saying to Naisha. What kind of drugs was TJ on? <laughs> I'm sorry, because this shit crazy. And Naisha says... Yeah, well, not, Kimmy asked, was it crack? Was it heroin? And Naisha goes, it was crack and heroin and it was off and on. But this was like, you know, this was this happened for five years, but this was before TJ met Naisha. So she pretty much saying before she met TJ, TJ child was on crack and heroin. Mm -hmm. Now, allegedly, and those are not my words, those are hers. Okay, I don't know TJ. I don't know what she did. But heroin and crack, girl. Heroin and crack. The heroin lady in the crack boy. Okay. That's some dangerous shit. Then Kimmy goes to ask, you know, was some of these drugs that she used while she was, was with Naisha? But Naisha goes to say, no, she did. She never seen anything. She never noticed anything. She did say that TJ was very impulsive and that, you know, Kimmy just kept asking questions about this crack. So then Kimmy goes, was there any glass stems found around the way? And Naisha was just like, no, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm very, she would say she was nosy girl and she'd be all up in TJ shit. So yeah, she ain't seen no crack pipes. Mm -mm, she ain't seen none. So then Naisha goes to admit that TJ is really just cool and a chill ass person, you know? Um, and that's the crazy part about her. But then Naisha states that she just wants to tell her side of the story. And you know what? I can get why. Because since TJ been on his app, if we're going to be honest, right? Anytime Naisha was over there with Sean Davey Way, she got her own channel. She would try to speak her truth. TJ will be so quick to keep. I remember this. Like I was there when this all happened. I might even have it in some of my old videos. <clears throat> excuse me. Where she was like, 
oh get off the internet why are you on here leave it's like people get on youtube and become very territorial you can't tell that woman she can make it do whatever she want on youtube honey it's a billion people on this app you don't own this app tj Ugh, i could see what she mean by you being controlling girl you just didn't want her to tell all your shit like she did today mm -hmm. and she told it all so pretty much naisha naisha admits that her and tj oh my god listen tj and naisha had phone sex literally two to three months ago two or three months ago i have a question now y'all know i'm messy but i got a question was tj and her new boo together two or three months ago i really hope not girl i know what you, i hope you know what you're getting yourself into new boo because um this shit get more crazy so then someone in the chat asked tj was she on methadone so Kimmy asked Naisha this question and baby Naisha was like, uh, she not going to speak on anything before she met TJ. And Kimmy like, well, you got your answer. And I mean, it did kind of insinuate that. Girl, you're not telling me this girl was on meth, heroin and cocaine. Somebody lying. But well, then she did have her teeth. So she probably was a crack. Okay. I don't want to call her that. Mm-mm okay so kimmy states that she believes kimmy states that she believes tj was hurt due to naisha releasing those pics and says that and naisha's like well where's the proof girl there's no way in the world sean davy way got the pics of that girl with her teeth like that laying up in that dentist with that eye cock to the side you had to give that to him girl we knew we solved the clue then that you gave sean because who else had connections to sean baby that was messy that was good times y'all those were good times those were good times Ooh, good memories i know i ain't shit <laughs> so then kimmy pretty much calls tj on the phone after hearing that she was over on a live cursing kimmy out baby tj get the screaming on the phone she like no i'm talking about naisha and then tj screams that naisha doesn't have the kids in school but then naisha says it's, be it's because tj left and that tj was the one homeschooling the kids baby where's the truancy officer some ain't right in the water why them, them kids ain't in school all she gotta do is finish her senior year let that girl finish her senior year her high school diploma is very important baby that job gonna be there some ain't right in the water y'all too damn ghetto some ain't right with these two I, i'm i'm okay look 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 i'm not on tj's side but I think I am a little bit starting to see why TJ got the fuck away from Naisha. I'm going to leave that right there on the floor for y'all, okay? So then TJ kept saying that Naisha was lying. But Naisha then says that she did not engage... Oh, my God. Hold on. Baby, Naisha came out and said they engaged in a threesome. TJ, this man Derek that she got pregnant by, and Naisha. TJ say it's a lot. But baby, not each shit went to go into details and said that there was a threesome and that man fucked, excuse my language, fucked TJ and Naisha lay right there in the bed next to them and she will only have sex with that man if he wore a condom. Y'all heard that right. Now, Kimmy asked a very good question. Okay, now, you know, I know all of this. I hear a kid in the background. I hope somebody had headphones on because if you don't let your kid hear this shit, uh, I'm questioning your parenting too, child. I don't know who it was, but I'm just saying. Because mm -hmm. you don't hear mine, they sleep. I don't do this until they sleep. They don't even know I do this. Mm -mm, I don't want my children seeing this. So then Naisha then, uh, no, no. So then um, Kimmy goes to ask, wait a minute, did you have sex with this man after all that knocking on his door? She go, yeah. I said, oh, they crazy, crazy. You telling me you down here chasing this lady, knocking on this man's door, wanting her ass to come home and you still fucked him with her? Because TJ said this, she liked him. You mean you was that willing to want to please TJ, girl? See, I knew something was up. Yeah, yeah, look, sure. Uh-uh, you got to be more careful. So then Naisha pretty much now remind you, TJ's on the phone, she's screaming. We can hear her a little bit. Naisha's on the panel, and then Naisha get the yelling out, go get some fix it in, bitch. <laughs> she ain't say it like that, but that's how I heard it. <laughs> and she told her, 
go get her some fix it in for them fake ass teeth and so we learned that they did the threesome after while all this was occurring but then Aisha let it be known that if they broke up she would go back to like men and I was like oh y'all fake ass lesbians cause y'all was just gay for the convenience child I, and, and TJ she bisexual child that she is not straight lesbian I don't give a fuck what you said she is not straight that's why I understand why she was mad at Jack for messing with the Johnny Popcorns anyway I, I, I don't want to get too deep so then pretty much Naisha goes to explain that she found out about Jag and TJ while watching them online because she said she was watching them and then she was listening to them talk and she noticed TJ kept calling Jag baby and that's when she kind of knew like okay something ain't right right so then TJ ended up calling Naisha to let her know to give her a heads up hey you know okay P and Sean might come out and say that me and Jag together we're not together but we did fuck You know, I'll say one thing about TJ. She do not mind admitting when she has sex with somebody else to Naisha because she knew Naisha wasn't going to go nowhere. Because mm -hmm. that's weird to me. So then I still want to know if TJ knew who knows about this. This girl, just be careful. I'm serious because this shit ain't right in the world, child. So then Naisha wants to clear up the whole domestic violence situation because there was a time where TJ sent uh, AT to a picture of some scratches or whatnot and she said this is what Naisha did to her but Naisha goes to pretty much explains that that is not what happened what happened was they was moving a fish tank and while in the process of moving this fish tank it dropped and it dropped on her foot and then they end up the next day going to the emergency room and that's when they learned like you know she had a pretty bad you know injury and so she said the way that she told that story was not correct, right? So then Naisha does state that, you know, child. Naisha goes to state that TJ really didn't take showers. And then when Kimmy went to question her, so T TJ didn't wash her ass. <laughs> and Naisha pretty much is like, look, I don't, I don't want that to be. I said, girl, you didn't let the bag, the cat slip out the bag. TJ, honey, I, I don't know if this is true, but, and I know she ain't gonna watch this, but I know one of y'all nosy, loud mouth, snitching ass folks, don't go over and tell her. At least tell her this part. Girl, don't never talk about Jack Hygiene if that's true. Don't never talk about Jack Hygiene if that's true. So then D, um, TJ pretty much jumps back her ass back up on the panel and she interjects right in the middle of this live. And she's just like, Naisha, what's your purpose? What's your purpose for all of this? Right? What's your purpose? And she just would not stop saying, What's your purpose? And I'm like, Naisha, please tell us half of her purpose so she could shut the fuck up about the purpose. Okay. But she wouldn't stop. She was going to know what that purpose was. So Naisha goes to state that TJ mentions, um, mentions her a lot. That's the purpose. Like, you keep talking about me. And um, Naisha Boo is Melody Jones, not Melody, not Melody B girl. I think that's a Spice Girl. <laughs> I think that's a Spice Girl. Mel B is a Spice Girl. It's Melody Jones. She said that she noticed that TJ mentioned her over there on a live. And she was like, girl, she asked me a question. I ain't mentioned you. And I answered the question. Naisha gonna keep fucking with TJ until she done fucking with her. Okay, them, them some petty bitches right there, them two. I'm glad they broke up because, woo, they were a lot to deal with. So then they start going back and forth on how TJ has been trying to talk to her. When she haven't been trying, so pretty much TJ has been like, look, I've been trying to call you. I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to get in contact with you. And what did you say when I called? And now you should go, bitch, don't text his phone again. She was like, exactly. And I'm like, yeah, y'all tiring. My head's starting to hurt even doing this. I'm trying to move it quick, y'all. I'm trying to move it quick. So then they just drop each other's whole government names, first, middle, and last. I say, y'all niggas do not care y'all on the internet, do y'all? you don't so then tj starts to accuse naisha of being drunk while online but naisha's like girl you know i don't day drink i drink on the weekends and shit i can do that and i'm like yeah you can to me naisha did not sound intoxicated that's just my opinion and then she, tj just start ranting and raving about how she made a youtube channel she made a coffee she made i think tj just wanted to cheat in peace shout out to crypto because he dropped down at kimmy with that and i that tickled me he said look she just let the girl cheat in peace <laughs> like that tj just wanted to cheat in peace child that was it 
and, 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 and Naisha blew it. No, actually, Jag blew y'all spot up. But, you know, she ain't going to never hold Jag truly accountable for a lot of that shit. Okay. And so then TJ argues that Naisha implied that she would, had abandoned the kids just because they broke up. And she just was like, look, just because we broke up, I mean, I abandoned the kids. We just broke up. And Naisha like, yeah, I agree. And Naisha was kind of throwing, you know, 10 or 20 or 20 or 10, however they say that. And so... Did TJ go, baby, listen, 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 Linda, listen. Mm, I'm trying to move quick, y'all, but it's a lot of notes. Girl, did TJ say, yeah, you up here calling, <laughs> girl, about how Naisha out here calling her a crackhead. Okay. TJ didn't ask, you know, have you ever seen me smoke crack? You know, Naisha's like, look, I don't got, I don't know what you did before me. But somebody on the pinnacle, like, well, girl, have you ever smoked crack? And I swear this is what came to my mind. No. Yes, you do. You smoke crack, don't you? You smoke crack, don't you? Look at me, boy. Don't you smoke crack? No, sir. It kills your brain cells, son. It kills your brain cells. Don't fuck around with it. Go on and do it expeditiously. Jump. Yes. Baby, when I say that's one of my favorite movies, if you're from New Jersey, it is mandatory that you've seen Lean On Me, okay? Shout out to Patterson, New Jersey. So, baby, TJ, like, I ain't never smoked no crack. I, I, I did some coke, though. Not crack, but I did some coke. Honey, at this time, it really don't matter what you did. You did something that wasn't weed, child. You, you did either crack, heroin, or meth or something. Girl, I don't know. Allegedly, I just know, girl, it, the allegations is a lot. And you admitted to doing coke. So I guess you're a cokehead. Allegedly. Well, was. So then TJ then asked, uh, you know, can, well, you know, I can admit I did coke. Can you admit, baby, listen to this part. She go, can you, to Naisha, can you admit that you abused the kids? And baby, Naisha, not once, but twice admitted to abusing the kids. She said, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. She said, absolutely, she abused them kids. So before y'all want to jump on that Naisha bandwagon, just remember she admitted to abusing them kids, child. Mm. So then TJ goes to say that, you know, if your life is so better, then why are you talking to me? But then Naisha says, you know, nothing. And Kimmy's like, well, maybe because she misses you. And Naisha said, uh-uh, Kimmy, don't do that. Uh-uh. And she starts laughing. She's like, don't do that. I don't miss that girl. You know, but then TJ gets to yelling some more. She's like, move on, you know, move on. And I'm like, girl, why are you yelling? Like, we hear you. And they just started to call each other narcissists, baby. Don't y'all dare sit up on this motherfucking internet and say that TJ is just a narcissist because Naisha is one too, or at least they have traits, but they both are off the chain. Like, if you really listen to that live, it ain't just TJ. Naisha's pretty bad too. So then TJ goes to say that Aisha was looking for someone to help her with her kids. So she was pretty much saying like, girl, you were just looking for somebody to help you with them three kids. That's the whole reason why we got together. You were just looking for somebody to help. And then TJ goes, gets to yelling again that Naisha Cooch couldn't even keep a nigga. Ma'am, as long as you out here lipping, licking bumps, okay, with bags and helping with the AD ointment, you can't talk about nobody cooch okay then naisha then gets to saying that girl i'm the reason why you even got dentures she tj's like bitch you ain't paid for him she said but bitch i made you squirt <laughs> i said wait what <laughs> just listening to that was <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe like and comment shell because this this put me through it. I could really use it, please. So, <laughs> then Kimmy goes to say, you know, well, TJ, you know, it's kind of the same what Jack tells you. She tells you to stop and get off the internet. And now you're telling Naisha the same thing, but she like, no, it's not the same. And I'm like, girl, it kind of is the same. Say what you want, but it is. So then I was like, yeah, I don't think Naisha fully moved on from TJ because I don't understand, like, girl, it's I guess it's hard to get over somebody for 11 years because if you're willing to F the dude that they cheating on you would get pregnant with because you want to make her happy, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. 
And so I'm like, yeah, I really just think TJ is really upset with Aisha because Aisha really exposed her. Like, she really put her shit out here. And I think that was the whole trying to keep Aisha from talking in the beginning because I think she knew that if she allowed Aisha to really get on this internet and speak how she felt, that she knew a lot of her shit would come out. And at the time, I think she was worried Jag was like, think something. But as you see, as Jag is Jag, I don't think Jag would have cared. I mean, you know what? That's just, this not about her. It's not about her today. So then pretty much TJ said that Naisha was a stupid dumb bitch for staying with her. And that's when I knew like, girl, did you just say that? You blaming her? You, girl, you, child. And I say bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, it's good they broke up because they're toxic. Honey, I had a headache. I think everybody had like a mini headache after that live because that was a lot. And then, honey, we jumped over to Kat and now it's just, a, and TJ was over there, girl, now it's the whole thing. And like, today was just a lot. So TJ pretty much admits that she has resentment for Naisha. Girl, that's evident. Now, granted, yes, Naisha did some things to you. I can tell by how Naisha, how Naisha talked and she admitted some things. Naisha wasn't easy to get along with or deal with. I'm pretty sure y'all both had trauma bonds. What the hell did you think was going to happen? Neither one of y'all was healed when you got together. Duh. And so then everyone just keep asking Aisha, hitting the panel like, well, you know, oh, I'm sorry. They was asking TJ, my mistake. They kept asking TJ, well, you know, if Aisha is so bad, why are you living with the kids? Baby, TJ is not claiming them kids. She made it very clear early on in his life that them are not her kids. Those are Naisha kids. Okay, she, child, you say you ain't abandoning them kids, but saying that shit sound like you did. Okay, we almost done, y'all. We almost done. So then Naisha says that, you know, she's not a bad person. You know, she really does have a good heart because TJ's father, Ashes, is still sitting on her table. And that she's not an effed up person. And I'm like, girl, so you just left your daddy Ashes? Your father, Ashes? With Naisha? You, you, y'all just have phone sex. You telling me? Like, y'all motherfuckers are weird. Because, like, what? I mean, child. I hurt myself trying to understand these two. So, the Naisha pretty much says that she's done with all of this, you know, and then just for all she wants is for TJ to tell the truth. And I, you know, I'm just like, you know what, child, you're going to have to get over her telling the truth. You, some, closure is overrated. Let me tell y'all something closure is very overrated. People think that you have to have closure to move on. You do not. You have to come to terms in peace with yourself that something's over and you have to be okay with it. And sometimes a person's never really sincere, sincerely or genuinely are going to be apologetic. They're just not. They're just some people who don't understand the concept of their actions and they don't feel like they did anything wrong. And you just got to get over it, boo. You got to let it go, girl. Look, be had, look, you should be satisfied that she got her karma from Jack, honey. Look at her. She's living in the hotel. I, I don't know if she's working. She was, but now everybody's saying she was stealing from service. Child, I don't know. All I know is TJ don't have it all together yet. And you are, you do seem to be doing better than her. So girl, just go be happy and live your life. Let the shit go. Let TJ just figure her shit out. I do want to bring something up though. Now look, I know I ain't well liked on this app. I really don't care, but I want to ask a question before I go. I noticed today that Kimmy kept insisting, honey, on talking to Sip. Jags, man. Someone cared to explain me cause to me why. That's some weird shit. Like she, she's chasing Sip now. Sip come up, Sip come up. And then she jumped over on a panel at Cat Medusa and got to talking to Sip and like, oh, you know, I didn't mean to. And you know, she talked about my husband and it was fair game. I'm like, girl, why, why are you, you've been doing this for weeks, like, What's with your thing with Sip? Girl, Sip, you can hear this Sip voice. Sip was not really interested into talking to Kimmy, honey. When I say that man, he's a cancer, honey. I've dealt with a cancer. When they decide to be loyal to someone, they, they loyal to them, girl. I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to have to let that one go. Because it's coming off real weird and weird strange. And nobody else going to say it, but I will. And I really don't care. Because the shit is becoming a little weird. And y'all let me know in the comment section. Are y'all peeping that too? Or is it just me? I know y'all keep me honest. Is it just me? Anyway, this live had hit 45 minutes. I did not want it to go this long, but that was a 
a lot of shit to cook with. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. What did y'all think? Did y'all see it? I know it was a lot. What did you think? What shocked you the most? And keep your girl honest. You know, be nice though. Because you know, I'll block your ass in a heartbeat if you ain't. I don't, I don't argue with other people's children. I just don't. I'll curse your ass out, but I ain't gonna argue with you. Well, you know how we do over here. I thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. And you know how we do over here. Have a blessed rest of your day and smooches. Yeah.